Oh my gosh. Annette is floating. All right. Oh, I knocked out some croakers early this morning. I made one cast with the cast net and I probably have like a hundred pogies. Oh man. All right, perfect. I let a few out and then I'm gonna put about 12 to 15 in the live wall. Oh, that is a pogey right there. Got about 15 pogies, about 15 croakers. We're gonna throw them around today for tarpon, but I'll tell you guys more about that in one second. All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video today. So we are on the new boat, the uh, Tarpon Bay 19 by Tarpon Boat Works, and we're gonna be running the beach today for tarpon and maybe some kingfish. I'm not exactly sure about that yet, but I know we're gonna try to find some tarpon. I think we will find some tarpon. I've actually been out here twice already, and I found tarpon both times, big tarpon, 100 plus pounders, and it is really exciting. They've just been blasting all sorts of stuff, and I just haven't been able to get an eat, but I'm learning, and I'm gonna figure them out, and I, I just feel good about today. We loaded up the live well with all sorts of good stuff. I got pogies, uh, some croakers in there, and uh, we're gonna try to get a real tarpon today. Um, but yeah, let's uh, start the engine and start running the beach and looking for fish. I just saw a tarpon on the side scan. We'll start trolling this pogey. Check that out right there. See that black spot? That would be a tarpon shaped like a tarpon but he's at an angle where it kind of looks funny i'm gonna start trolling this guy through the pogey pod oh my gosh here check that out there's another one so there's two behind that have recently went behind the boat so i'm just gonna troll this thing troll this pogey here Oh my gosh, they're all over this pogey school. That's a third one. They're behind the boat now. I just rolled literally 10 feet from the boat. <laughs> it's probably about to show up on side scan any second now. We just got eaten, I think. Did I hook, dude? <sighs> I don't know what this is, but it doesn't feel like a tarpon. What in the world? <sighs> yep, a shark. Oh shoot. How the heck did I hook this thing? And he didn't cut me. How the heck did he not break this? I had to get him just in the corner of the lip. Let me know what kind of shark that is because I have no clue. Let's try to. Oh, I don't know if I want to try to <sighs> unhook him or just cut it right at the. I think I might be able to unhook him here. <sighs> All right, just to risk avoid being bit by a shark out here by myself, 20 miles away from the boat ramp, I went ahead and cut it just at the. Uh, at the hook so that that hook will come out soon rust out but i gotta get another circle hook and i need to find a tarpon 
All right, went ahead and threw on a new circle hook. These are the 9-0 Mustad Demon Perfect Circle circle hooks. They're actually pretty light wire, I feel like, compared to some of the other hooks, but they are very strong. So those are the hooks I'll be using, and I don't see why that hook shouldn't rust out of that shark's mouth pretty quickly. But we're going to have to keep searching for tarpon. They kind of went down on me there. I had a couple marked on side scan, dragged the uh, pogey behind the boat a little bit, and... Uh, yeah, they didn't eat, so I don't see them rolling either, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the trolling motor back up, start the engine, we're going to keep looking. should have bowed a little bit more <laughs> that was instant shoe once i could get that freaking bait into the glass minnows <sighs> i was like half sure if it was a tarpon until i saw a white flash and then by the time i saw the white flash he was in the air and i wasn't bowing <laughs> i'll take it that is the first real tarpon jumped on this boat that was awesome that only took i don't know a second into the pogey school or the glass minnow school there to get eaten And the glass minnows, oh, there they are right there. I knew it. I knew those tarpon would be under the glass minnows. Even if they're not rolling, tarpon are just going to hold to that bait every single time. Oh, I just wish I'd, I don't know, stuck them better or bowed? I don't know what you call that. I'll take it, though. That was a real fish. That was probably 80 to 100 pounder. I mean, if I had to guess, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. What do I know about tarpon? Look at all those minnows. Oh, they just went down a little bit. They just swam all under the boat. So there's got to be tarpon around here somewhere. Let me look at the side scan. Yep, just all glass minnows starting to go under the boat. I saw a few tarpon roll next to this pod, but not for a minute. That feels like a tarpon. Gotta be a tarpon. I'm about to go chase this fish. I was just trolling, trolling the pogey behind the boat. God, I hope this is a tarpon, not a massive shark. It's a shark. It's so freaking heavy, dude. What the heck is this fish? Okay, maybe it's not a tarpon. There's no way. But it doesn't feel like a shark, neither. What else could it be? Shark? I, there's no way this is a jack. It's just digging too deep. <sighs> but like the head shakes aren't that crazy is why I don't feel like it's a shark. A shark would have that rattling head shakes. I don't have that. It's slow. <sighs> that foul hooked a shark? Yep. 
It's like a black tip hooked in the tail. Oh my gosh, how does that happen? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to cut this, dude. There's no way I'm grabbing that. It's like a six foot black tip. I'm gonna have to break them off. There I went. Oh. Shoot, dude. I think I broke it at the leader. Whew. Why couldn't that be a tarpon, man? Oh my gosh. That was like a six foot black tip somehow hooked in the tail. How in the world does that happen? Oh, I got a turpin. Can you see it? Go turpin on. Jesus, dude. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Dude, that's like a 150 pounder. Oh my gosh. Drag stop clicking. There we go. We're gonna have to chase this fish. Oh my god, that's a giant. Well, Saltex sent or Tsunami sent me these reels. And I've just heard things that sometimes the drag clicker can break. And I think off the first tarpon, the drag clicker actually broke because I don't hear it, but the drag is still working. Oh my God, that is a huge tarpon. Whew. We got 60 pound fluorocarbon. Let's try to make something happen. We're gonna chase him. Jesus, dude. We got silent drag, but I swear that drag, that's full of spinning. <laughs> oh. That is a monster tarpon. I don't think this is gonna be a quick fight. No way. Fish ate a pogey in that glass minnow school. I probably got 25 more minutes. It is an incredible day, guys. I was considering going offshore. I just couldn't get any of my friends to go with me. So I was like, well, I guess I'll run the beach. Look how incredible the weather is. Incredible. I'm gonna start following this fish a little bit better. The problem here is we're in like 30 feet of water. So this ain't like a five foot flat where this fish can only go left to right. The, this fish can go down and just dog me. So we're probably three minutes into the fight right now. We definitely got a little bit longer to go. He's digging. I think he might jump here. I was gonna say, I haven't caught too many giant tarpon, but what I've learned with fighting big fish is just keep your back straight or else you are going to get burned in your back. She's under us now. I'm still under all the minnows. If you guys can see that there under the boat, check that out. Come on, girl. Can't even see her, she's below the minnows. I'm gonna do right here is stow it. Just so when she's around the boat, I don't have to deal with the possibility of the line getting stuck in the trolling motor.
I'm gonna work a little bit harder, tighten up the drag to get this fish off the bottom and keep the fight as short as possible. He's coming up the surface. She might jump here. Oh, there she is. She's on the surface now. It's probably gonna be a jump right here. Oh, that's a giant. Work with me, girl. They're making good time on this fish. Gonna fish this size in 15 minutes. Would you? Back down towards the boat. Here's a jump, I think. <sighs> Getting a fish this size in under 20, 20 minutes, I think would be a good job. <sighs> Come on, girl. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see this right here? I hope you guys can see that. A 12 foot man array right there swimming by the boat. Oh my. I don't see any cobias on him, but I bet they're under him. Well, I'm fighting this tarpon. Oh, come on, girl. I cannot believe I just saw that ray. That's a 12 foot, 12 foot wide ray. I can't even talk. We're gonna have to land this fish now. Oh my gosh. This is not gonna be easy to land alone, but I can do it. Come here, girl. That is, without a doubt, the biggest tarpon of my life. What I'm gonna do here, pull this hook out, and we're gonna put the boat in gear, and we're gonna release her. Thank <laughs> you. 
work with me, girl. I started the boat and put in gear with my feet. And now we're in forward. It's very important with fish this size to keep them in the water. Don't lift their head out of the water for any reason and revive them exactly like this. These fish need our the most respect. You can give anything on the planet, you need to give to a tarpon, especially this size. You ready, girl? So I have caught quite a few fish on my channel. Some, some that I'm really proud of. Snook 45 inches, a lot of 40 inch snook. But there is nothing that compares to that. Not, not a single thing. Not a 50 inch jack or a 45, like there is nothing that compares to that. That was by far the biggest tarpon of my life. If you ask how heavy it was, I have no clue. I have not, not, not a clue. I mean, it looked as heavy as me, but I don't have a clue. I have never, never felt that exhausted after a fight with a fish, not even close. Nothing, nothing compares. But that is the first released, well, first real tarpon released from the new boat. Big shout out to Tarpon Boat Works. Big shout out to all you guys for watching. It has been a grind. This is my third trip out off the beach, running 15 to 20 miles a day looking for these fish. And that was the first one. I'm just so happy that it stuck. I hooked him right in the button, right in the nose. It didn't penetrate, just held him tight enough with the barb. And there's nothing that compares to that. I mean, honestly felt like to the point of where I was exhausted, like genuinely, like I needed water. There's no wind out here, so it's super hot. But I think what's important is I think I took the best care of that fish that I could have possibly done. I felt like I got him in a timely manner. That was probably about a 24, 25 minute fight. Was able to release him with the help of the engine. Um, kept that fish's head in the water. I was able to reach for the engine. I, I literally kick-started the key with my foot and then pushed my foot and pushed it in gear because I was holding that fish over the edge. And I didn't want to let go of that fish, but that was incredible. There's nothing that competes with that, but I love to stay out here and keep fishing them, but I am genuinely exhausted from that fight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was an absolute blast to film. And uh, if you guys enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And other than that, I, oh, check out the merch as well. Link in the description. Other than that, I will see you guys in that next video.